Hey everyone, today we are talking about real-time bidding, the ubiquitous acronym that for some people is really powerful, for other people is very confusing. Uh, let's demystify what real-time bidding or RTB is. So, you're on a website or a mobile device and you go to Yahoo, let's say, and you read an article on Yahoo, um, an ad loads, an ad loads in about 200 milliseconds. Within that 200 milliseconds, there is a, an auction going on with a lot of different companies that make that ad appear to you. What's happening is that you have the ability as an advertiser to serve ads to people based on who they are, where they go, what their interests are. And for that information to be communicated, an auction needs to happen. And that auction happens uh, between a buyer and a seller. So the buyer of inventory is an advertiser, let's say it's Tony Romas, and let's say the seller of that inventory is Yahoo, okay, for, for ease of use. And so um, Tony Romas wants to reach men uh, 25 to 54 with families, um, with disposable income who like to eat out within a five mile radius of where they live in the physical world. So that I fit all those characteristics. And um, I'm on a page and, and, I, and, yeah, and Tony Roma wants to serve me an ad. How does that ad get to me? Well, there's an auction. And what that auction does is it allows Yahoo, who has information about me, because they have cookie data and device ID data, and they, have, they capture all this information about me. They want to know who I am <clears throat> and Yahoo has the answer. So what happens is, Tony Roma says, okay, who is this person who's about to uh, read this article on Yahoo? Well, Yahoo says, well, they're within five mile radius. They're at this latitude, longitude, and they have these certain characteristic age, gender, household income, purchase habits, whatever the case may be. That information gets communicated from Yahoo to Tony Roma's uh, through an automated fashion. And Tony Roma says, yes, that's the guy we want to serve an ad to. Let's bid $3 per thousand impressions, so $3 CPM for that inventory. Cool. And let's say there's another advertiser, Guitar Center, and you may see guitars behind me. That's actually, those are my wife's guitars. I do not play the guitar. Um, and so Guitar Center says, hey, who's this person? You know, Guitar Center wants to reach men who uh, are going, men and women who are going to buy an instrument from them, right? So let's say that's, that's their target. I'm, I'm not that person. And all of my data identifies me as not as a person who does who's not interested in playing an instrument. So Guitar Center says, ah, this person is really not that valuable to me. Like we're either not even going to serve an ad to that person, or if we are, we're going to bid very low in the off chance that we, you know, we might find capture someone who we weren't even really even targeting. So they're gonna they're gonna bid either they're not gonna bid at all, or they're gonna bid twenty five cents. So a small a small amount per thousand impressions. So a, a twenty five cents CPM. And then let's say there's another advert advertiser, another advertiser um, that wants to bid uh, $2.90. So the highest bidder is Tony Romas. And, the, and Yahoo says, okay, Yahoo's trying to maximize how much they can get for that ad inventory, right? So they want to, if, if they get $4, great, $5, great, as much as they can get. Tony Romas wants to pay $3. You have an advertiser that pays $2.90. and You have a guitar student that's paying 25 cents. So who wins? Tony Romas wins. They're, they're an auction. There's a bid. There's several bidder, just like any auction at Sotheby's or if you've auctioned for a home or whatever, any auction. It's, it's an auction. And so Tony Romas wins. They pay $2.90 plus a penny. So the second highest bidder was $2.90. Tony Romas wins because they had the highest bid. So they pay $2.91. So data gets pushed back and forth between Tony Romas uh, and all the intermediaries down to Yahoo. Yahoo says, "Okay, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You're buying the ad. You're you're serving the ad to this person for two dollars and ninety one cents per thousand impressions. Cool." Um, Tony Romas says, "Okay, here's the ad. The ad gets served up." and all the data gets passed back. Yahoo knows who the advertiser is, it's Tony Romas. Tony Romas knows that they served an ad on Yahoo. Um, data gets passed between all the different parties, even the losing parties. So Guitar Center knows that they lost and they know that they lost at a 25 cent CPM. So that data gets passed back to, to Guitar Center. Um, and same for the bidder at $2.90. And then if, the, if I click on the ad, both Tony Romas and Yahoo know that I clicked on an ad. Tony Romas knows that I, um, whether or not I transacted, um, or, you know, converted, submitted an email address, whatever they're tracking. And then that all, that entire thing that just took about five minutes to explain happens in 200 milliseconds. So this process of bidding, real-time bidding, it's called real-time because it's happening 
right now, right now, right now. It's happening at the moment that the ad gets served. Uh, it happens billions of times a day all across the US and really all across the world. And this happens on Yahoo, AOL, um, across social media sites. Um, and so the idea is the publisher is trying to maximize how much they can get. The advertiser is trying to reach the right person and in some cases minimize how much they get for each ad, they, they pay for each ad impression. And the end result is an economic system where the buyer and the seller meet, they exchange value, they exchange ad inventory to serve an ad, and hopefully to get uh, the required uh, uh, action or activity from the end user, which is me trying, you know, Tony Romo's wants me to go to their Tony Romo's location in Sherman Oaks. Um, so all this happens between different intermediaries, so different platforms between a demand side platform, a supply side platform, Yahoo, the advertiser, all these data systems meet and exchange information so that Tony Romas knows when they serve an ad and where they serve an ad to. But fundamentally, it's a 200 millisecond auction between advertisers and publishers. That is real-time bidding.